the country CEO back in the house again. Man, look, this game I'm going to give to you today is more game, more game, and more game. This video today is going to hit at the hard knocks of life and the reality of dealing with people. But because of this education I'm about to give you, it's going to help you to overcome it, digest it, and also know how to deal with it. All right? So look, welcome back to the channel. You tuned in on a great day to be tuning in to get this game here. All right? Look, channel members, appreciate you, man, supporting this country CEO channel so I can bring game like I'm about to give game right now. So look, title of this video is, Oh, snap. They kept it to themselves. Oh, snap. They kept it to themselves. Country CEO, what are you talking about? A fact of the matter of this business and any business is, is there will always be a small aggregation of people who are tight-lipped about where the work is currently coming from. And specifically for me, Right after the natural disaster of the hurricane, jokers knew where the work was and who was looking for trucks. And they didn't want to tell the country CEO, y'all. Can y'all believe that? Because I could, <laughs> at least not initially. And then I thought about it and I said, okay, yeah, I understand. So look, let me give you some game on the fact that you're going to have to go through some times in this business where other jokers know where to work at and they don't tell you. When pickings get slim, lips get tight. Did you get that? When the pickings get slim, in other words, when the work gets slow or slim, lips get tight. I had a recent experience here, y'all. Got to share it with you. Right after the hurricane. Hurricane came to us on Monday. Hurricane Ida. Nobody did anything for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then a job comes up Thursday for Friday. Start getting calls Thursday night by people seeing trucks on jobs on Facebook and on Instagram. One of my classmates called me. Hey, man, what are these guys working at? He got a dump truck. I said, man, I don't know. So I saw one of the trucks I recognized on there and I contacted the person. Hey, where y'all working at? Who's looking for trucks? They didn't tell me the truth. They told me somebody else was looking for trucks, but they didn't tell me where they was working at. Sent me on a wild goose chase of calling other people that, that who may be have looking for trucks, but I was talking about the job that they want. I didn't even get in touch with the other people. Kept on making calls because somebody, I've been out here too long. Somebody go tell the country CEO who looking for trucks. Finally made the right call, got a call back. Yeah, this is what's going on. There's a levy, the railroad tracks that washed out in New Orleans. And if you've been around construction and stuff for a while, the federal government, railroad companies don't play by the railroad tracks, right? So evidently earth and limestone and stuff washed away up on the railroad track a couple of blocks. So evidently, several companies bid on the haul 55-pound riprap from Baton Rouge and other places to New Orleans, 95 bucks an hour. We call that hurricane pay. And evidently, people got tight-lipped, didn't want to give the information. Oh, man, it was about 100 trucks down there on the job. Get this nugget, y'all. Helping others will not hurt or take nothing from you. But we got a lot of people need a mindset change in this world to think if they tell you where the fish biting at, that's going to cut down on how many fish they can take. Did you get that? It's a mindset change that needs to take place. They kept it from the country CEO, y'all. Okay. A mindset change is needed among some of our people. 
Here's what I got for you by way of encouragement. Those of you who are trying to get into this bit, don't let you stop that stop you. Because I don't care where you go in the business, you're going to have to deal with this kind of stuff to some extent, right? So you can't run from it. I'm not trying to discourage you. Instead, let me encourage you. Keep on grinding regardless. This is just what I did. Once I, you know, got down to, to the bottom of what was going on, keep grinding. Make your phone calls to people that you know and your customers and 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 uh start calling other guys, see what's going on. Pray and hold on to God's God and trust him that he is always taking care of you and that he's going to take care of you during this time. And that's all I did. I made my phone calls to people that I know, even people that I hadn't talked to in a while. I called, hey, y'all got anything going on? Because see, what happens is during uh, natural disasters, some of the regular people that you work for be getting some of that work. Don't miss that. I prayed. I said, Lord, it's in your hands. You've always taken care of me for 21 years. Every time they try to block me, you've always come through. I trusted God, y'all. I said, Lord, it's in your hands. We haven't done anything all week. The day is Thursday. Friday morning. Got another call, gave me the whole rundown about the job, told me who I needed to call. I said, okay, cool. I get home, I'm going to fill out the paperwork, I'm going to call that company, I'm going to get lined up so I can go work on that job. Before I can make the call, y'all, I got a call telling me where the fish was biting at right in my local area. I could come on now. I took care of my business, another 30 minutes of what I was doing. I went home, got on my truck, packed my lunch, got in the truck, went and got on the job. Worked and made at 11 or 30 that day and still made $600. Was able to get both of my trucks on that job Saturday of this weekend before Labor Day, Sunday before Labor Day, and they went out this morning on that same job, right? But rain got them and made three loads. Rain got them about 10 o'clock. But we're supposed to go back with the regular customer tomorrow anyway on Tuesday. But look at how God provided for me, even in the midst of folks got tight lipped on that country CEO. Now, mind you now, I've helped a bunch of people in this business in my local area. I've sold people trucks. I've given people the game here on trucks. I've worked people on jobs with me with jobs that I've had. And they had the unmitigated gall, y'all, to get tight lipped. On the country CEO. But that just goes to show you. Mark chapter 6 of the Bible records Jesus going back to Nazareth. And how when he went back to Nazareth, his own people who he had grown up with didn't want to accept him. And because they didn't accept him and have faith in him, he had to leave Nazareth. Bible says he could do no great work there. And what that text shows us is that familiarity breeds contempt. In other words, those who are familiar with you, they have contempt for you when you're trying to do great things. And then the thought occurred to me, I got the revelation right here, y'all. Success also breeds contempt. When folks feel like you're doing too good or you're doing well or you're making it or you're rolling pretty good, they develop some, not all, but some people develop some contempt for you. And watch this. Some of them are even other dump truck owners and drivers. That's game right there. All right? But I'm just like that old gopher off Caddyshack, y'all. And you need to be just like that old gopher off Caddyshack. Trust God. I'm here to tell you. He will make it happen for you. Every single time, y'all, that they have tried to block me. Because, you know, everybody got haters. So I got my haters in the business, too. Every time, y'all, they've tried to be tight-lipped or folks tried not to tell me where the work was or try to keep me off a job. God has opened a door, y'all, either on that very job they try to keep me from coming on or he opened a job, uh, opened up something for somewhere else. Now, here's the thing. That gopher on Caddyshack, y'all, y'all remember Chevy Chase them was trying to blow up the holes to keep that gopher, kill that gopher from digging them holes on that on that golf course. And every time Chevy Chase them would blow up one of his holes, he'll pop his head up somewhere else. And that's what they didn't know about this country CEO because I got God on my side. Every time they block me over here, all it does, God open up a door somewhere else and I pop my head up over somewhere else. When you got favor on you and favor on your business, man, look, let me tell you, them jokers cannot stop you. 
So I come to tell somebody, don't fret, don't trip, don't cuss nobody out, don't even be mad with them. Because here's what I discovered. God going to position me, because he's done it so many times, to have to help the very ones that tried to block me, y'all. Oh, snapped. They kept it to themselves. <laughs> but God still looked out for that old country CEO. Look, if you ain't got a relationship with the man upstairs, get one. Because he'll make it happen for you when man try to block you. Country CEO, that's all the game I got. Look, if this was worth anything to you, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. This is a good one to share with everybody. This is, this is a good one to go let mama listen to, daddy listen to. Country CEO, I'm out of here.